Well, if you may have had this problem where you're trying to edit, you're rendering your file, and you're starting to get very jumpy, glitchy performance. And this is usually down to the fact that either your process is not up to speed, or in my case, I'm simply running out of available memory. There is a way around it. Right, let's start off with the left-hand side here. You'll see that I have one gigabyte. It was sitting at something like 300 megabytes before I cleared a few files, and I'm gonna go into it in one second. The available space is key to making sure that your DaVinci is running nice and smooth. And what I've got open on this uh, screen here is in the movies folder. So find your cache clip folder. This is what is made by DaVinci. And basically the cache clip is there so that when you go into your DaVinci of all the files, videos, music, photos that you're editing on DaVinci so that it's gonna be able to stream it better, quicker, and you'll get better performance. But you can see here in some of these dates that they go back to June. And these are old images and files and videos that I no longer need the cache file information for. So what I like to do is sort it in date modified. And let's Let's go into the one at the bottom here. These long numbers here, they don't mean anything. And so to understand which of these files is against which project that you may have done in DaVinci, just simply open it up and go to the info text. This is the key thing. And up here, here we go, we've got the project name, which was Mercedes Vario Roof Diagnostics with iCarSoft. So I know that that now has been uploaded to YouTube. I no longer need all the little bits and pieces and individual footage, which take up a lot of space and is all being cached within this folder. So just simply select it and move it to the bin, delete it. That's it. And work your way through. And if you're not too sure, just to recap, just open it up and go to that info text. It's going to this one, which was in September. And this was for an iCar software, a Range Rover air suspension fault fix. Again, I know I've uploaded that. I don't need these files. I'm now going to move it to the bin. Now, importantly, over here, this here is your availability. Now, it's only showing at one gigabyte. And it's not because I haven't emptied the bin, which I'm going to do right now. You'd expect that to jump up but it doesn't. What you need to do is restart your Mac. The increase, it will be quite significant. So I'll do that now and I'll see you in a few seconds. So welcome back. Um, I restarted my PC and then got into something else and it's gone into nighttime, hence it's gone into nighttime mode. But importantly, what you can see here is that my available space now has gone from 1.15 gigabytes to 11.46 gigabytes. So those files that I deleted had around about 10 gigabytes worth of cache files. And if you follow suit and go through them all, you'll be able to get a much better performance from your DaVinci because... Remember, a lot of these files here, you probably never use again if you've already dealt with and uploaded the videos. So there's my little handy tip. Open the actual folder, go into info text to tell yourself what that was. And this was a chainsaw video that I've done. I know that I've done it. I no longer need the files. Right click, move to bin and empty the bin. And remember, once you've emptied the bin, you need to make sure you then restart your PC and then you'll see the difference in available space. There's some cracking other videos I've done on DaVinci and also some other software items in and around YouTube that will really help you. So appreciate it if you took the time to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye for now.